Back here at Madison Square Garden in New York. Time for the starting goalies presented by Honda. And it will be Tuka Rask, who many feel will be the starting goaltender for Team Finland in Sochi. He's got some competition, of course, the way Antti Niemi has been playing out in San Jose. But there you see his numbers so far this season, including a win last night in Carolina. And the guy that will be the number one goaltender for Team Sweden, Henrik Lundqvist. He got off to a slow start, as did the rest of the Rangers in terms of Pucks going into the net early in the season, but he has been better of late. And uh, we show you Patrice Bergeron because this is a milestone game for him. Career game number 600. And uh, yes, 444 career points, but his contributions go well beyond the numbers he puts up on the board. Bergeron between Erickson and Marshawn for the Bruins. And it's Stepan Zuccarello and Kreider for the Rangers as the puck deep into the Bruins zone. And it's taken by their captain, Zdeno Chara. Reflected by Erickson just into the Rangers zone and cleared by Strawman, but not out. Now Marshawn gets to it. That bounces off of uh, Mark Stahl. And back out of center ice where Bartkowski will dump it along the boards behind Lundquist. And a stick on it. Now Marshawn, who's been inconsistent according to his coach Claude Julian who we talked to this morning in fact uh, sat a little bit on the bench in that 4-1 win in Carolina last night yeah his coach said to him it's nothing personal if you don't shoot the job I put somebody out there who does and uh, offside at the New York Ranger line and Claude Julian uh, Brian also saying that he feels overall his team's getting a little bit closer to where they need to be and, and that's reflected in the fact they've lost only one of their last seven games. Yeah, I think all coaches are saying, you're at the 20-goal poll now. You're supposed to get half the system down. They have a few new faces, too. Boston doesn't have as much turnover as some teams, but they've four, got four or five new guys, and it takes a while to get the system down. He seemed fairly pleased with the way his team's rolling along. Marshawn made a couple of mistakes, so he sat on the pine for a few shifts last night. Dara up the far side. Milan Lucic out here with the top line, along with David Krejci and Jerome McGinley. As Lucic now across the line. Krejci has it now. He'll send it to the right point. Hamilton takes a look. Now dumps it off the end boards. Active boards here at the Garden. Bounces pass. Uh, Gimlin, a shot by Krejci into the glove. Uh, Lundqvist uh, will hold it there. And uh, there is Rick Nash, his first shift, as he comes out with the Ranger top line to go head-to-head -head against that Bruin top line. Well, Rick Nash has been skating for about 10 to 14 days. He was actually cleared by the doctors last Sunday, and then they tested him on ice, and I mean thoroughly tested him. And he actually tested better at better numbers than he did in training camp. So Nash is ready to go. The rest is just game time timing. Rangers control the draw around the boards here. Tory Cruz that Brian talked about at the top of the show. First down of the scene in the playoffs last year as the puck is cleared back into the Bruins zone. Cruz racing after it. Eric Dorsett is there. Bounces the Bruin defender off the puck and Rask makes a couple of saves at point blank range. Terrific job by Dorsett on the forecheck. And now Rask will sweep it to Seidenberg. And it's cleared out the center ice. Rask settles it back down. Now Krug gets the return from Seidenberg and Corey Krug. Doesn't connect there with number 18 Riley Smith that goes down behind Lundquist and we will get the icing call. Well, Derek Dorsett had the perfect first fourth line shift for the New York Rangers. What do you do? You get in on the defense and you play the body and you turn pucks over. Terrific body position. Turns the puck over for sure. Gets it right out in front. Great scoring chance. Boyle comes in for the rebound. And Tuka Rask just has to fight off a couple of opportunities before he gets any time, excuse me, uh, any help in front of the net. Now, Tori Krug is normally very good at making plays like that. Krug is small at five foot nine. Doris is not that big. Usually Krug's better on his feet. Top line for the Rangers. Ryan gets out here. Elaine Vino gets him out against this third line for the Bruins. It couldn't change because of the icing. And now the Bruins, Riley Smith, who Flo Julian called the biggest and most pleasant surprise at the start of the season. Also part of that uh, deal with the Dallas Stars that sent Sagan and Peverly to Dallas with Erickson. And Smith coming the other way as Bergeron shot turned aside by Lundquist. You know, Louis Smith, Riley Smith is a big part of that deal. Louis Erickson's a terrific player, but Smith was overlooked. He did a lot of good things for Dallas. Wasn't really well known around the league. 
But as you just mentioned, Dave, Claude Julien, very surprised. That I didn't know Riley Smith at all, really, before he came to us. And he's been terrific at what I want him to do. Now, one twist. Plays the puck, hands it off, quick up the near boards. Carl Haglund given a bump there by Hamilton. And now Boychuk, who scored his first goal of the season last night in that win in Carolina, plays it the other way. Recovered by Strawman and the Rangers look to come out with it. Rangers uh, coming off a pair of 1-0 games. A 1-0 win in Montreal. And then the next night, a 1-0 loss here against the Los Angeles Kings. And they had a little bit of travel difficulties getting from Montreal back here on Saturday night. They were actually uh, diverted from their regular airport because of fog and had to go to Newark. Had to get bus to their cars and players didn't get into their own beds probably till around 3.30 in the morning on Sunday and then played a very uh, tough L.A. King team that night. And with that said, the Rangers had plenty of opportunities, Brian, to win that game, but they're hoping the return of Nashville sparked their offense. Yeah, they went through a stretch prior to that where they were scoring four goals, three and four goals a game pretty regularly. So the other side turned. Fatigue would be a factor certainly in that last one. In Montreal, they always have trouble. They finally won a game one nothing up in Montreal after about a generation of losing up there in the tight ones. Justin Falk, number 44, with a pretty good hit on Lucic that the Garden crowd appreciated. Now Zuccarello with a shot that misses the net. Lucic on the far side, Girardi up on him. Huck will be held in by Dominic Moore, number 28, in the lineup for the Rangers. Last couple of games after missing some action with a muscle strain. Now Kreider reverses his field. Wanted to go to Zuccarello, took a stick up high. Yes, that was seen by one of the referees. I believe that's Brad Watson is working along with Brian Hakmaro is the two referees tonight. Well, they went to Zuccarello to see if he's bleeding at all. Uh, skating by the bench, it doesn't look like. A, co a couple of comments from Boston players, but you can see why the penalty was called. Looks like it's only going to be a two-minuter. It's a high-sticking call. Chara, who's considerably taller than pretty well everybody in the league, but yeah. <laughs> particularly Zuccarello, who's not very big. The big Bruin gets his stick up a little bit too high. And well, we've been told that Dennis Seidberg uh, went to the Boston locker room as the Rangers go on to this power play presented by Best Buy. And this puck is cleared by the Bruins. It hit the camera, one of the cameras right up on the top of the glass. It was center ice. Yeah, it's deflected too, so it's it's not a not a penalty for shooting it out over the glass. Well, the face-off Bruins penalty killing Bryant has been terrific. They've killed off 31 straight over the last nine games after they went through a horrific stretch in which the opponent scored on five consecutive power play opportunities. So, yeah, when you can go nine straight games without a goal against it's great. Here's Nash with a chance. And, of course, it's Nash that the Rangers hoping will make a difference on their power play. 34 seconds of a five-on-three against L.A. in the second period the other night. And later in the same sequence, as this puck is cleared, they had another 17-second five-on-three and unable to do much with it. Well, Brad Richards, when he's out there, most things flow through him, and he is definitely a different guy this year. He's had a really good touch. Zuccarello with speed. Oh, he went across instead of shooting it. Thought maybe Kreider had a better chance, but boy, from this vantage point, it looked like he could have shot the puck as Rasp will hang on to this one. Zuccarello actually played right into the Boston Bruins' hands because they did have a good chance here. It starts again with Richards. Richards is great coming through the neutral zone. The backhand pass off to the side, that was the first one with Nash coming in. That's the right idea. Pull the trigger on the second chance with Zuccarello coming through the middle, excuse me, coming down the wing. Tried to make one too many passes. Boston back checks through the middle as well as anybody, and they're ready for that pass. you got to shoot it and go for a rebound. Rangers control the draw. Here is Moore just inside the top of the circle. A save by Rask Ryder setting up the screen. Zuccarello far side. Good hustle by Stahl. Kept it in momentarily. Now Kelly knocks it away, and it's picked up by Louis Erickson. Who will take it deep and on the angle. Got deflected up off the glass, but still in play. That's another thing that Louis Erickson gives to the Boston Bruins. Another guy who can kill penalties really well. Plus, you can play him on the power play. Half a minute remaining in the Chara high-sticking minor. Campbell intercepts that. Attempt to get it deep, and now Campbell has to chase it deep into his own zone around for Paye, and he backhands it down the ice. Numbers we were talking about for the Boston Bruins. 
Lead pass now, Kreider in behind the defense, cuts in, take it down, what's the call? Penalty shot! Penalty shot for Chris Kreider. The Boston defense was just not very aware. Kreider was right along the blue line. He definitely has the step. Boychuk comes in, skewers him with the stick, has the stick in between the legs, pulls him down. That is definitely penalty shot stuff. But Boston should have known Kreider was there. That was the problem in the first place. Great pass by Zuccarello to set him up. 23rd penalty shot in the National Hockey League this year. The first one involving the New York Rangers. So Kreider has an opportunity here. One-on-one -on -one against two Rafts to give the Rangers a 1-0 lead. And the first goal has been so important to New York. Here comes Kreider against Rask. Rask denies him. Kreider looked like he was ready to shoot all the way. He's played very well for them this season, actually. After last year struggling to stay in the lineup and spending a lot of time in the American League, the puck did bobble on him a little bit. Yeah, it's not laying flat when he pulls the trigger. Did that make a difference? Well, yeah, it always does a little bit. You don't shoot the puck as crisply and cleanly, and it, it affects the altitude that you want to get on him. Whether it was higher he wanted to shoot or lower he wanted to shoot, it probably did cause him a little bit of problem there but he did a good job of getting free in the first place. He's really freed himself up this year mentally, it seems like Chris Kreider has, and uh, he's created some good offense. That's what drew that uh, penalty shot we just saw. So eight seconds remaining in the Chara penalty as the faceoff is out to the line after the Bruins had control but couldn't clear. And after a shot block, Chris Kelly able to dump it down the ice. Chara skates across the ice to the Bruin bench. Rangers 0 for 1 with a man advantage, and now the Bruins. They were back out to that numbers here. Krejci with Lucic and Aguila going to the net. Oh, what a stick there by Strauman. Anton Strauman with a terrific defensive play. Now jammed around the Bruins zone to the far side. Lucic gets it off for Bartkowski. Bruins without a pretty significant defender. Get to that in a second after an intercept here. Broussard with a shot, up high, was stopped by Rask. Now Pouliot tried to get it to the front, Krejci has it. And Lucic will get the red line and he'll dump it in. That line will go for a change. The Bruins, Brian, without to Adam McQuaid, a pretty significant player on their back end. No doubt about that. Broussard, though, in that last shift here, coming off the bench fresh with tons of speed on that turnover. He had a better chance than that. They didn't get much out of it. Now Pouliot, for the Rangers who have had uh, all five scoring chances in this game, Girardi. Across to McDonough, his shot through traffic, and that skips up over the glass and out of play. 12-24, remaining in a game where we've already had a penalty shot and a power play, but it's scoreless. Let's go back and see how Chris Kreider got that penalty shot. Zuccarello has the puck top of your screen. Bottom of your screen, Kreider going right along the blue line, and the Bruins just go to sleep. Boychuk should have been aware of it. He must have figured there was going to be a handoff to his defense partner, Bartkowski, but Bartkowski was up on the play, and because of that, Kreider had a clear shot in. Bergeron now sweeps one that is deflected up on the netting behind Lundqvist and out of play. Face off deep in the Ranger zone. Bergeron, terrific center iceman, one of the best in the world. Incredible guts in the playoffs last year, playing with about seven different injured parts and still played right to the bitter end. Best description I can give of him is Riley Smith, the young man who played with him uh, when he first came over here from Dallas, and he said, well, I'd make a bad play and lose the puck, and Bergey would just come and get it back for us. <laughs> but great, simple to the point. Now Boyle for the Rangers, clears the puck back into the Bruins zone. Sedano Chara back to get it. Eight minutes gone here in the first period. Scoreless. First of three meetings between the Rangers of the Metropolitan Division and the Bruins of the Atlantic Division. Marchand sweeps this puck along the boards in behind Lundquist. Stahl knocked off the puck, centering pass goes all the way out to the left point. Chara holds it in. He's up the shot, the puck is just wide. Now Hamilton sends one off the stick of Bergeron. Bergeron tried to put it in front. Mark Stahl blocked that. Now Bergeron again will wrap it around and try Chara again at the left point. It back in to the near corner. Marshawn, diagonal pass. Chara to the net, saved by Lundquist. Now Marshawn. Taken down by Stahl. Erickson. 
Battling against Richard. Louis Erickson. Marshawn now. Richards intercept, plays it up the glass, and it's gloved down by Chara's center ice. Yeah, if you're going to dump it out on Chara's side, you better shoot it really hard or really high. Now Kelly, back to the line here. Boychuk stepping into one that was handled by Lundquist, but it kind of came softly off his pad. He wasn't sure where that was for a moment. No, it, that's right. I think it might have hit his pad and then his own glove. He expected to kick that wide. Seidenberg, or rather Soderberg, excuse me, number 34. As the uh, Bruins play it back into the Rangers zone, and this will be called for icing. Boston Bruins on the attack, and they just get the puck in the zone. They work their way in and stages the layers there for the New York Rangers. And then Lundqvist makes the save, and that's the one we were talking about there. It hit his pad, and it did. I think it hit the inside of his blocker, and he expected to kick it to the outside and just lay there. Irwin's control the draw as Barkowski plays it off the boards. John Moore slides it far side, and a false pass deflects off of Smith and into the Ranger bench. They'll download the NBC Sports Live Extra app to watch the game live on your phone or tablet. Plus, have access to live chats with experts from Pro Hockey Talk, the NBC Sports Live Extra app on NBCSports.com slash Live Extra and NHL.com. And for those wondering, had Kreider been successful on that penalty shot, Chara would have still had to serve the remaining time on his penalty. Well, Smith had the stick chopped out of his hand. He kind of looked for the official, wondering if there might be a call coming. As Soderberg is tied up along the board. Out to Barkowski for a shot that's blocked it. Hagelin trying to get loose. And could not. And Smith right back on the attack now. Takes it wide. It's turned back by Justin Falk to intercept him. He'll lob it back out to center ice. And Michael Delzato was a healthy scratch for the third straight game. That's why uh, Justin Falk from Snowflake, Manitoba, is in the lineup for a third consecutive game. Center ice. Boyle deflects it into the Bruin zone. And Boyle takes a hit. And Campbell as the puck comes free. And now Dorset and Campbell, they're going to drop the gloves. Derek Dorset and Gregory Campbell. Well, Dorset's done a good job in his shifts out there. He's obviously riled a lot of people up. Because Gregory Campbell, he will fight for sure when, when he thinks it's the right time. On his first shift, terrific turnover Dorset caused by knocking Krug off the puck and getting the puck to the front of the net. So he's a, a burr under the saddle of the Boston Bruins so far. And Dorset getting the decision from the Madison Square Garden crowd here. Past the halfway mark of the first period here in New York. Bruins and Rangers scoreless. Coach, goals four have been tougher for you the last couple of games. These guys don't give up very many. What was the message to your team on your approach in this one? Well, we know that uh, Boston plays pretty tight games, so obviously uh, they're not. we're not going to get a lot of chances. But when we do, we got to make the opposition pay. we got to get pucks at the net. we got to get traffic in front of this goaltender. He's one of the best ones in the league. Anything on your power play that you'd like to see different that didn't work here? Well, we had some great chances. We had three quality chances, uh, two of them on the rush. We did a lot of the right things. We just couldn't score. Thank you. Elaine Vigneault in his first year as the head coach of the Rangers. Of course, he and uh, Claude Julien know each other, and their careers have taken similar paths. As, uh, this is offside on the long dump in by Chara. Uh, Julian and uh, Vigneault were actually teammates in minor pro hockey back in the early 80s with Salt Lake of the Central Hockey League. You see there back uh, from 81 to 83, that was a farm team. Then for the St. Louis Blues, and of course uh, both went on to coach in the Quebec Major Junior League in Hull. Both coached the Montreal Canadiens in the National Hockey League, and they were opposing coaches in the 2011 Stanley Cup Final. Uh, Julian with Boston, of course, Vigneault at that time with Vancouver. A lot of familiarity. As Richard, whoa, oh, that almost went in off a of rasp. As he was leaning just ever so slightly off that post. 
Brad Richards has always had that in his arsenal. He'll take quick shots that surprise goalies from nearly impossible angles, just like that. Well, you know, McDonough wanted to get that puck to the net, and it just bounced on him. And it's sent back the other way, and Hamilton now hands it off for Jerome McGinley. Plays it ahead, McDonough able to block it. Now Hamilton follows up and rolls it back behind. Lunkwitz on the far side. Big collision. Lucic knocked Girardi down, knocked the stick out of his hand, and the puck is recovered now by McDonough inside the Rangers' zone. Milan Lucic, one of his active big hits. As Fighter now top of the circle, gets closer for a shot that was deflected by Raff. Much as the Rangers have the advantage in, in shots here, Brian, there's been a couple times where they haven't shot the puck when they could have. Costly situation for sure. I think slowly, uh, the Boston Bruins have changed some of this momentum around, certainly, with the Rangers early on. Plus, they got the penalty shot. Plus, they got the power play. But the Bruins are, are starting to turn the tide, although they're not getting that many pucks to Lundqvist yet. Now, Strawman under some pressure. Backhands it up the near side. And it's backhanded by Kreider across now Zuccarello. Tries to cut in on Krug, and that didn't quite work out. And Bergeron back the other way. Rubbed down by Brad Marchand. Zuccarello's really feeling it, though. I mean, that was a, a nice little play that he attempted. He really had nothing to lose by doing that cute little move between his feet. He set up some really good plays already in this game, including that breakaway for Kreider. Back out to Bartkowski. Shot is blocked, and a break here for Nash, or rather for Haglund, but he can't control it. Tried to kick it up to his stick, and it just went too far. And now Bartkowski will play it off the near boards, and Smith able to work it out to center ice. Kelly across the line. Top of the circle. The flex in just wide of the Ranger goal. They jam up along the board, down to the line. Hamilton skates it to the center, hands it off. Kelly, long range shot, lunch with. Watch that sail high and wide. That's great positioning by Kelly right along the blue line. It gives it out to Hamilton and also backs him up in case he gets too risky and turns the puck over. Chris Kelly's that kind of player. Intercepted in the neutral zone by Moore, who plays it ahead in behind Raff. 6.25 remaining in this first period. Turned over by the Bruins, sent to the net. Steered aside by Raff, picked up strong on a drive. And Raff has that tied up just inside the blue paint. And Sedano Chara is not a happy man there. I think he thought he got his feet pulled out from underneath him. And nobody had noticed. But the play coming off the far wall and Tuka Rask doing a terrific job of going down. There was no re rebound. Zuccarello right there again on the doorstep looking for some loose change. But Sedano Chara not happy. Get back to the bench. He made his point felt. I think it was Moore who had skated by him. And next thing you know... Big Chara's down on the ice and had to recover himself just before that shot came to the net. You see his average time on ice just over 24 minutes as the Rangers controlled his draw. That shot was blocked, now picked up by Richard. Backhands are right in front of Rask. A stall shot. Karam's in along the boards behind the Bruin goal. Barkowski up the far side. Now Barkowski again, he gave it away to Richard to quickly try to get it back to the front. Markowski intercepts, and it's wrapped around and down the ice. The icing here, and Haye will pick it up. And Dave, you get a better luck than I do, but I haven't seen Seidenberg come back uh, on the uh, no. Bruins bench yet, so they're playing with five. Here's Barkowski. Runs it in deep. John Thornton, who had the night off last night, his coach was quick to tell him it wasn't performance related. He wanted to get George Caron into a game as Boychuk with a shot was blocked in front. Backhanded by Richards and taken now by Rick Nash. And Nash will send it deep into the Bruins zone. And then turn back on the line chain. We haven't seen Rick Nash get going more than once on the power play. He had a little bit of open room and time here, but seems to be just, you know, feeling his way back into the lineup here. Whistle down at the Ranger line. We will step away with 513 to go on the first. No score. Scoreless in New York as we go inside the glass, presented by Capital One with Brian Engblom. Physical play is always an important part of every game, and Milan Lucic is one of the most physical guys in the league. But look at early on in this game. Gets bumped off the puck by Dominic Moore, and the Rangers keep the puck in the zone. I think he got a stern talking to by his coach. When he got in on the forecheck, he took it out on Dan Girardi. When you mess around with this guy, when he wants to play, when he wants to be physical, there is 
very few guys who will end up staying on their feet when Luc Lucic gets a piece of them. And what a great compliment to be able to slide a guy like Jerome McGill on the right side on this line after uh, losing Nathan Horton, who ends up in uh, Columbus. Krejci now slides it across, and Cruz leads it out to center right, hands it off Lucic on the far side. There he is again, running into Girardi. Krejci. Covered by McDonough, hands it off. Derek Stefan plays it ahead. He'll be chased down by Kreider. Kreider dumps it right through the goal mouth off the board, picked up by Girardi, sends it back in wide of the Bruinette. Kreider sends it out straight away. McDonough lobs it toward Rass, didn't get through. And Lucic now sends it out to center ice. David Krejci has it there. Knocked off his stick, picked up by Lucic, and a shot off a stick, and ends up out of play. Well, Rick Nash is back for the first time since game three early in the season when he suffered a concussion. It's been tough for him so far to get any room. One of the most talented guys in the league coming in off the wing. Johnny Boychuk knows that. He was close to him on that play. He's a big man in the corners. He's got terrific puck possession. Puck, puck, puck has not been around him very much yet. He has been off for a long time and probably coming off the concussion. He's probably checking himself all the time, too, as his blood pressure goes up and go, okay, how am I feeling here? But once he settles in, you'll see him go to another level. Now Pouliot out across the line with Boyle going to the net. Wraps the save, and there's no rebound. Now tonight at 11 Eastern, don't miss Bob Costas as he sits down with Boston Bruins legend Bobby Orr. And tomorrow looks back 50 years ago on the moment that shook our nation and its effect on America's team. It's two all-new episodes of Costas tonight. Benoit Pouliot on that last rush. Got the puck to the net, took the shot, but you have to make the right shot. It's got to be lower, it's got to be off the far pad, it's got to give a chance to a couple of line mates. He had two guys going to the net, he just didn't make the right shot. Batted down by Hamilton of the Bruins. Mark Stahl moved in for the left point to keep it alive. Here's Haglin. Playing with Broussard and Kreider right now. Broussard blocked that clearing attempt. Now it goes back out to the line. Strauma didn't have a shooting lane trying to find one. Now he lets it go. Saved by Rask. And the rebound hit the side of the net. That was Haglin that had a shot at it. And now the Bruins able to get it back to center ice. Erickson picks it up. There he's back into the Rangers zone. First round slides it across looking for Marshawn. And the Rangers able to clear. Now the puck up into the netting behind Lundquist. Out of play. Upcoming TV games in the National Hockey League. Rivalry night tomorrow night. It'll be Pittsburgh and Washington. Coverage begins with NHL Live at 6.30 Eastern. Bruins and the Blues on the NHL Network Thursday night. Then Minnesota and St. Louis. We'll meet uh, Monday night at 7 Eastern. Coverage begins with NHL Live. Download the app or watch live online at NBCSports.com slash live extra. Yeah, Pittsburgh-Washington game. How about the talent you're going to see in that game? Power plays, especially Washington's a machine in that department. And Pittsburgh, of course, got some of the top offensive talented players in the world as well. And Pittsburgh looked like they were on a little bit of a slide and then got things turned around with a big win against Anaheim. Charo, the hit on Boyle right in front of that Bruin bench. Dorsett in on the forecheck now, having served his five-minute major, causing all kinds of problems around Zuccarat. The puck came free, and the Bruins come up with it. Charo's pass hit a stick, sent right back just wide of the Bruin net. Boyle sends it along, Charo. Knocked away by Richards. Richards tries to slide it in front, it was blocked. Soderbergh plays it off the far boards. Chara able to find some open ice. And in that pile up at the net a moment ago, Derek Dorsett ended up in the bottom of it, I think maybe underneath Chara, and he, Dorsett was limping badly when he came back to the bench. Turned over by the Bruins. Here's Nass with a chance with his speed. Comes in the save by Rask. Rick Nass with a terrific opportunity there against Tuka Rask. It's Krejci. Back into his own zone and hands it off to Boychuk. Heading now for Milan Lucic. And uh, Iginla just offside. A couple of great chances here by the New York Rangers, and they want Rick Nash to have chances. Boychuk with the turnover in the neutral zone. Nash is in all alone. 
tries to go look between the blocker and the body, and Tuka Rask certainly took that one away. But the Boston Bruins have not been sharp in the neutral zone, and it's mostly been the pair of Boychuk and Barkowski. They were out there for the Kreider situation that turned into the penalty shot. That giant, it was Boychuk who turned the puck over in the neutral zone. They got to clean those up. They can't keep giving clean shots to the New York Rangers. And you know that Rick Nash and players of his ilk are thinking about the Olympics. Nash, of course, part of Team Canada in Torino and in Vancouver. And if he's healthy and ready to go, I believe with his uh, speed and Kill on that large ice surface would be a welcome addition to Team Canada's in puck is sent to the front, Lee directs off a stick and wrap, just does cover it up. That was a terrific shot by Girardi moving in there. I don't know if it was the toe of the of the pad of, of Tuka Rask that made that save, or whether it was Hamilton and it went off his foot, but Tuka Rask was really sharp. Girardi moved in from a bad angle. Let's see what this one, oh yeah, goes in off, uh, goes off of Hamilton rather. The goaltenders go down early in those situations. A good thing he did because that was a nasty change of direction for Tuka Rask, who's been a terrific goalie for Boston this year. Rangers nine scoring chances in this first period against Tuka Rask. He sends it deep into the Rangers zone. Rahman plays it off the boards. The Rangers have done a terrific job of taking advantage of Boston Bruins turnovers. I mean, the neutral zone, there have been some really bad ones. Uh, the stretch pass has worked for them once or twice. They, they are sharper overall with the puck, and the Rangers really are not turning the puck over to the same degree that the Bruins are at this point. Face-off control, Campbell, Boychuk shot, the puck to the far side, Dorset has it, and clears it back out through center ice. Boyle with that long reach gets a stick on it, Boychuk comes over on him. Again, Dennis Seidberg left the ruined bench, went down to the locker room early in the first period. We have no word as to why. That, that hurts him a lot, he's an experienced guy, he gives him power play time, he can kill penalties. Now back drop pass here for Richards. That was Callahan that dropped it back, and, and that was deflected out of play. Yeah, Richards with the big one-timer. I think that hit Johnny Boychuk in the in the foot. What I was going to say, without Seidenberg in the lineup, it really hurts the Bruins too, especially when they've got a couple of guys, quite frankly, who are struggling in the turnover department. And that's Barkowski and uh, Johnny Boychuk with a couple there. They'll have to fight through it. Bruins five one and one in their last seven games. Coming into action tonight, one point behind Tampa for the top spot in the Atlantic Division. Marshawn slides it across, and Erickson now will play it softly off the boards into the Rangers' zone. Strawman tried to clear, and it uh, bounced off of Erickson offside. And you know, talked to Claude Julian this morning, among other things, about looking at the standings without the conferences meaning as much as the divisions and. He said, yeah, it is a little different. It's the top three in each division. But he said, you know what? I really don't start to focus on the standings until we get closer to the halfway mark. But, boy, some very interesting races, Brian, already shaping up on both sides in the east and west. It's, it's been different for sure, and I think it's been different good. I mean, the players are really refreshed. The, the new divisions teams switching from west to east and east to west, giving the whole league a real different, fresh look and feel. Bruins haven't spent much time doing this, but they pass to the front. Almost got to Marshawn, if not for the good stick there by Derek Stefan. Ryder slides it out. Stefan gets it back to the two-time NCAA champion. And Ryder's shot is whistled wide. It bounces all the way out through center ice. Final 15 seconds of this first period. The Rangers try to come back on the attack. And that puck just out of the reach of Ryder. And Chara now. Plays it ahead or tries to. Blocked by Zuccarello. Now step on. Tangled up there with Erickson and the horn sounds to end. First period in which we had a scrap and a penalty shot, but no goals. Stay with us for the Lexus Intermission Report. Liam, Mike, and JR will talk about missed opportunities for the Rangers. That's been a theme for the last three games or so. And wild about Josh Harding. Wow, his number's just phenomenal. 
for the, to many, surprising Minnesota Wild in the Central Division. Talking about great divisional races around the National Hockey League. A lot going on. The guys in the studio will talk about this game and a lot more when we come back after this. The NHL on NBCSN is brought to you by Lexus and their pursuit of perfection. And by Frost Brewed Coors Light, the game's most refreshing beer. Back at Madison Square Garden getting ready to start the second period between the Bruins and the Rangers. Uh, but first, let's go inside the glass with Brian Engblom. It's a nothing-nothing hockey game. A lot of that's because of Tuka Rask, because the New York Rangers really did a good job of turning pucks over. Dorset on the forecheck there gets it right into the paint. They really took the Boston in their own zone and in the neutral zone. Another turnover there had Nash going in all alone. Turnovers again being the story and a quick transition to the New York Rangers. Look at the penetration they get here. Another shot to the net. Tuka Rask swallows that one up. Boston has to do a better job of passing tape to tape for sure and not give that penetration and turnover inside their own zone. Among active goaltenders that have played at least 25 career games, Tuka Rask with the best goals against average. Career goals against the 2.09. And the second best save percentage among goaltenders in that category as well. So he's been terrific, has a fat new contract that he's been signed to, and he's living up to it. Chara sends his puck around the boards behind Lundquist. Far side, Kreider gets there. Was ready for the hit for Marshawn. Now kicks it up to his stick. Backhands it ahead now. Derek Stepan. Gallant by Hamilton. Kreider gets to the loose puck. Checked by Chara. Now Marshawn drops it back. Dino Chara hands it off, and Marshawn. Chara plays it back to center right. Bergeron couldn't get it into the zone the first time. Will the second. Now McDonough. Snaps it ahead. It comes all the way in on Rask, and he will have to cover there. You can call Star Star NHL to download NHL Game Center and get a free premium upgrade only on Verizon. Enjoy exclusives like free live NBC National Games. Never be without hockey. Richards on the draw. Bruin player reached in with a stick to try to regain it for Boston, but now the Rangers get it back. Richards far side. McDonough tees it up. That sails over the top of the Boston net. Ryan McDonough with points in seven of the last ten games. As he has really elevated the offensive side of his game. Yeah, he's been up on the play more this year, too. He's got terrific offensive skills. He didn't jump up as often in the past as he is so far this year. Center eight pass loose right in front of Rask, and he will cover it up. Johnny Boychuk was cleaning house in front of the net because the New York Rangers, uh, we showed you some of the chances they've had and how many times they've been right on the doorstep. Well, the Rangers get the puck to the net again. Boychuk comes out in front, gets a piece of that. And then when the puck goes back the second time, there's Boychuk 55 saying, well, you're not going to get a second chance on that one. Krejci was going to clear it, but he left it for his goaltender. That's one of the things that the Bruins defense have always done well. They play solid, they play hard in that last 10 feet in front of their goals. Now Kelly collects it center ice, taken away, though, by Pouliot. He came back aggressively on the back check. Oh, Hagelin just saw that huge shadow come up in his yeah. face. He turned around, and there was Sedano Chara. Chara led up on him. He could have crushed him. Now Kelly takes it wide, dumps it in deep. Riley Smith is dumped there by John Moore as it's sent back out to center ice. Crew turns it back the other way. Now Smith, block comes back to his stick. Penalty coming. It'll be against the Rangers. Here's Crew. Just inside the line, delayed call. Rask, long skate to the bench, and uh, now it's touched up by the Rangers. And Boston will go on the power play for the first time tonight. Yeah, that's John Moore headed to the penalty box. Looks like it's a tripping call. Rangers trying to do a job in front of their own net, too, just keeping things clear. It gets a stick caught it, wedged in between. Yeah, no doubt. That, that'll get you a penalty 100% of the time as he pulls down Chris Kelly. Boy, one of the things that... Uh, you tried to ask Tori Krug about is why the Bruins get so <laughs> fewer power play opportunities than their opponents. Yeah, the fewest in the league by far. Like other teams get 17, 18 more power plays at this point already than the Bruins. Hamilton with a shot right through and Lundqvist the save. I'll give me an example, they were 
one for two on the power play last night in Carolina. And, and of recent games, that's a lot of power plays for them. They had three consecutive games that they went 0 for 1 with a man advantage. They came in with only 52 power play chances compared yeah. to 80 for their opponents. And Tory Krug, I, I think he probably had an answer in mind, but he, the way he kind of smiled he, at you, he didn't want to talk. Answered, he answered it. He yeah. answered it just, just, just fine to me. But it, it was it was very funny, a little tongue-in-cheek. You know, Boston's had six games this year where they only had one power play. Bergeron will send it around. Soderberg on the near side. Talking to some people that follow the uh, Bruins on a full-time basis. Talking about Carl Soderberg coming to camp a little bit leaner but stronger. More NHL ready than he was when he first came over from Europe. As this puck is sent down the ice by Girardi. Yeah, he got a taste of it last year. Enough to know that, okay, I got the summer. What am I going to do? Faster? I got to be stronger for sure. These guys can really play. And, he, you know, he's not young. Soderberg's 28 years old. Yeah, big So, he, you know, he's, he's a mature guy. Again, the first kick through the middle. Hit block for Lucic, who fires it just wide, and the puck skips away from Tory Krug. And Krug sends it back, David Krejci. Hands it off, and Krug, first down of the seed in the playoffs last year, scoring four goals in the playoffs before he had ever scored a goal in the regular season. Rare company for guys that have done that in the history of this game. As, oh, Krejci went down awkwardly. Good to see him get back up as quickly as he did. And now it's batted away by Haglund, but not out. Lucic, challenge by Dorset. Nice job, Krug across. Krejci finds a Gimla with a quick shot and a save made by Lundqvist. Just got that left pad down low along the ice. Krejci back to Krug again. Good stick there by Haglund. Now it's Adano Chara with it. Hinla looks for the middle, hands it off for Chara, dumps it out in front, Haglin there, hammers it out to center ice as John Moore had just stepped out of the box. Great sticks and great alertness by the range of PK. Dorset sends it across the tip here for Derek Stepan, oh, what a stick by Chara! He was eight feet away, but his stick is nine feet long. <laughs> now Rass stumbles as he clears it to the far side, and Krug... Able to get it to Marshawn. Each team with a penalty kill as it remains scoreless. On the counterattack, Zuccarello had a strong first period. Tries to feather a pass across. John Thornton gets a stick on it. Now he gets himself free with Marshawn. Thornton up the right side with a touchdown. shot by Sean Thornton. Justin Falk got caught up on the play, so it was an outnumbered attack with Thornton. And Thornton's a right-hand shot. There's Falk getting caught at the blue line. It's Marshan who goes to the middle of the ice. There's good back-checking there and good support in the middle of the ice by the New York Rangers. But Thornton gets a lot of penetration there, and he just goes top shelf and rips it by Lundqvist. Right in the crook of the arm there, just barely right underneath the crossbar. Not much penetrate, excuse me, not much pressure put on him by John Moore. John Moore had some support in the middle of the ice on Marshawn. It was not a two-on-one. Moore come a, could have come across and put more pressure early on Thornton, and he didn't, and Thornton made the shot. And of course, we mentioned Thornton was a healthy scratch last night, and uh, certainly not performance-related, according to his coach. He's been playing well, and but uh, fresh legs and good state of mind. He was in a good mood this morning at the morning skate. He, when he came off this morning, he was he was out. He put on another clinic out there, and he said, yes, you bet. Richards with a tip. Save. Rebound opportunity. Does another tip for Callahan. And it's sent to the near boards, and the Bruins come up with it. Rick Nash with two quickies there, too. Off that rebound, he jammed it. I don't know how Ross made that second save. Now Bergeron jams it along the board behind Lundquist. So again, missed opportunities, as the guys talked about in the studio. Rangers with a terrific first period, come away with nothing. No chance in the Bruins, including a penalty shot. And they have a couple of chances here. Remember the opportunity that was broken up by Chara on the rush, just before the goal by Sean Thornton. Haglund. Hamilton for the Bruins. Chara plays it around left wing side. Lucic tries to clear. It's held in at the line. Flip back for the Bruin net. Chara knocks it down and Krejci now. 
Hands it off from Eli Lucci. Looks across, cuts to the middle. Backhand shot is blocked. Girardi got that deflection right up in the mouth. Made a good play on Lucic, got his stick on the attempted pass across and came out and got him right in the mouth. Looks like he's all right at the moment. Broussard dumps it back into the Bruins zone. Dougie Hamilton though. Krejci now for Lucic across the line. Chris crossing with a Ginla. That's broken up though. Lucarello with speed the other way now for Derek Stepoff. Fire side of man is open. It's out here. Rap coming out aggressively. And he says no on the opportunity there for Kreider. One goal of the game, and with all the big offensive stars, it's Sean Thornton that's made it one nothing. New York Rangers have had some terrific scoring chances in this game. They put a lot of pressure on the Bruins' defense. Getting guys to the front of the net as well, too. That was Rick Nash getting second and third chances before he got pushed away. Turnovers again, the Zuccarello line doing a great job in this game, creating more chances. Kreider with a great chance at the end of that faceoff. Oh, redirected by Nash. What a stop there by Rask. Made it look easy with the left arm as he flashed it up to take away the top corner. And Brian, you think back to the conference semifinal series between these two teams last year as Bergeron and Strauma come together at center ice. He had Gregory Campbell scored three goals in that series. Markowski's in trouble. He can't even get up. He got hit along the boards. He can't get up. It's a short... Five on four here for the Rangers. Now Barkowski finally comes across. Hurt his knee badly. And remember, they're without Seidberg. They're already down a defenseman. Now Callahan. Trying to keep the play alive with the Boston zone. Picked up by Boyle. Slides it across. Now John Moore, but it's taken away by Erickson. Slides it to Marshawn. And just to finish that thought, I was making there, Brian, uh, the fact that uh, so many of the third and fourth line guys were significant players in the series last year. And they continue to be for the Boston Bruins here tonight. But let's take a look at this hit by Callahan on Barkowski, who's trying to shake it off the bench. Yeah, he uh, he was in great difficulty. He'll go to the wall here. Callahan comes in, hits him from the side. Well, he was in a tough situation there. He was already making a turn. He doesn't... He doesn't really hit him from the numbers. He hits him a little bit on the backside, but he pushes him from the side with a lot of force, no doubt. And you could see the knee went right into the boards. No way to defend himself. He was in a very susceptible position there. You know, the league looks at everything. And they'll be looking at that one as well. Our just could not get out. Off the draw, the shot by John Moore. Sails up just high and wide. Barkowski, who played his uh, collegiate hockey at Ohio State. A lot of players uh, with college hockey on their resume in this uh, matchup tonight. Between the Bruins and the Rangers. Now Thornton has the game's only goal. Taken away, Broussard. Went off to Hagelin. Played at the University of Michigan. Had a couple of goals in that uh, game between Michigan and Michigan State. At the big house a few years back. Picked up by Paye to keep it outside as he dragged it into the Rangers zone. Now Falk. That bounced off of Paye. Pouliot coming back to help out for the Rangers. Campbell had it momentarily, but the Rangers take it back. Dominic Moore gets it into the Bruins zone. Bruce steps into him. Top of the circle. Girardi with a shot into the glove of Tuka Rask. And he holds it there. Rangers chances again, just not ending up in the back of the net. Callahan with just a good quick play coming off the wall there. Nice hands by Rick Nash. Redirected that one, and you can see that was definitely headed right on target there. Tuka Rask was up to the challenge. The transition game again for the Rangers, very good. They had good quickness through the uh, neutral zone. Rangers won the draw. McDonough sends it around along the board behind Raz Boychuk on the far side. Smith able to clear it back the other way for the Bruins. Zuccarello turns it back. Smith gets a stick on it. Offside, he tags up, but the Rangers able to flip it back into the Bruins zone. Very crew. Another collegiate player out of Michigan State. Played against Hagelin in that big chill of the big house game as this Soderbergh shot just over the crossbar. Behind Lundquist, and now it comes back to the line for Chara. And to send it back in, no, 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 deep no, no. stall is there. Far side for Kreider, taken down by Kelly, and uh, no call coming. 
Girardi circles back. Shots are 24-9 for the Rangers, but they trail 1-0. Hamilton. That's coming off a game where they had 37 shots against L.A. and lost 1-0. Mentioned a couple of five-on-three opportunities that they were unable to score on. Now Richards across the line. Hands it off. Got here. Saved by Rapp. Nash again. Tried to get it to the front. Blocked by Hamilton. And Lucic. Off the skate of Jerome McGill, who recovers now for David Krejci. Krejci wanted to go back to McGill out of the line. Chara shot. Redirected the save made. Lundquist with some contact. And a call coming, I believe, it's going to be goalie interference. And a good touch up there by Hamilton. If that stretch pass gets through, the Rangers may have had a two-on-one from the blue line in. But as it is, it'll be a power play we come back. Coach, you're up 1-0 in this game, but the Rangers' transition game seems to be pretty effective so far in the first period and a half. What can you do about that? Yeah, I thought it, the first period we just wore off here a little bit, but uh, right now I think we're not doing a good enough job of taking the boards away. They're uh, coming out easy out of their own end, and uh, because we're letting them come out easy, they're getting outnumbered situations. So we got to get better in the forecheck, and uh, that'll give them less of a transition game starting from their own end. Thank you very much. Thank you. And there you see David Krejci who's in for goaltender interference to play around Henrik Lundqvist. You have to allow the goaltender to make a save. He was right on the edge of the paint, but even if he was just outside of it, you have to let that goalie have a chance at it. Out to Richards. His shot blocked by Chara, who sends it all the way back down the other way. 12 power play goals on the season for the Rangers, Brian. Callahan has four, and then there's eight Ranger players that have one each. Well, everything goes through Brad Richards. Uh, he has more shots this season than anybody in this game for, for both teams. He's going to pull the trigger from anywhere, but he's also one of the best dishers in the game. Here he is, handing it off to Derek Stepan across the line. Callahan. Callahan angles it back off the board, but too much on it. Richards has to retreat center right. The Bruins don't give you anything for free. As you can see, they'll, they'll cut your avenues up, up the ice, and in the neutral zone as much as they can. To make it tough to get in. See, there you go. Knocked away by Paye. Could have a shorthanded break. He's behind everybody. Comes in. He scores! Danny Paye! Shorthanded breakaway. And the Bruins with a 2 nothing lead. When your last guys handling have the puck and they turn it over, that means there's no support behind you. Terrific work through the middle of the ice by the Boston Bruin. First Campbell, and then Paye crisscrossing. And there's nobody in behind. That pressure by Campbell started it all. Paye came across and just picked up the loose chain. The little drop pass not handled very well. And Paye's got terrific speed. One little nice move, goes five hole on the backhand. Two nothing, Boston. Third shorthanded goal given up by the Rangers this season. And the third that has been scored by the Bruins. And again, you look at the names on the score sheet. Kaye, Sean Thornton. Guys that did a lot of offensive damage in the series between these two teams last year. A little sarcastic cheer, surprisingly, from this Ranger crowd. You don't normally hear that for any Olympic Lundqvist in this building. No. If he had a little run support in this game, it would certainly help. Yep. They could easily have two or three goals. Or shot stopped in front, clear to the corner. Boychuk trying to get it out of there. Still 15 seconds remaining in the Bruin penalty. Handed off for Kreider. Kreider dropped it back on the wall. In front for Stahl, couldn't handle it cleanly. Back to the line, John Moore. Goes to the far side. Got the charge. Go! Top corner! This combination for the New York Rangers has been the best. They've had so many chances, created a lot of puck possession. Zuccarello in front of the net fighting. Broussard just comes in off the wall, and he'll just fire one and beat Tuka Rask on the far side. Don't know if a Chuck Boychuk or anybody else got a piece on it, but I think this one just goes clean. The shot from Broussard, maybe it was deflected. Difficult to tell from my angle here. Off, certainly off the crook of the arm there of the goaltender, in between the feet of Johnny Boychuk. No wonder it was so difficult for Tuka Rask to 
pick up there. He seemed to get just a tiny piece of it, but a terrific shot there by Brassard. Power play goal by just a couple of seconds. His second power play goal, his fourth overall on the season, as you see. And it was Kreider and Zuccarello again, Dave, for the New York Rangers, who moving the puck around very well, creating a lot of stuff. Up the middle, Dominic Moore hands it off for Dorsett. He swoops it on the board behind Rack. Ruchich for Chara. Now Krug hands it off for Jerome again the right wing side. Gains the red line. Dumps it into the Ranger zone. John Moore and Chris Kreider with the assist. On the goal by Broussard. And Krejci now. Off the wall with it, hands it off to Zdeno Chara, his shot right through that, was just wide on the stick side of Lundqvist. Great, great shot selection there by Chara, had his head up all the way, was not looking at the puck, knew exactly where he wanted to put it. Now Lucic, trying to slide it across, Julian breaks it up and sends it back inside the Bruin line. What a huge response for the Rangers after the shorthanded goal by Payet. Now two on two Rangers into the bottom of the zone. Bazaar keeps it up. Save rebound. Ten. Oh! And just ain't unable to kick it up to his stick was Pouliot as he was racing by Tuka Rask. Smart play by both of these men. Brassard takes the line and then he delays with the puck. Pouliot just comes screaming around the outside. His timing is really good. The only thing he certainly should have done better, he should have stopped in front of the net. Brassard was waiting and waiting and uh, Chara gave him time to wait. And you can see Pouliot almost kicked that one free for a second chance. <laughs> well, Broussard, after the faceoff, picks up the puck away from Soderberg, tries to dump it to the front, it's deflected in deep. Haglin has it there. Well, Haglin angles it off the board, long range shot! That was stopped, that was Broussard screening to Karras. Now off the wall with it again, here's Broussard, wheels and fires, that's blocked by Kelly. Pouliot sticks it along, Broussard off his stick, off the skate of Kelly. Bounces out to center ice, finally, Kelly hands it off, Soderberg pulls it back, pulls the trigger, blocked, another opportunity covered up here by Lundqvist. Well, stuff going on behind the net, yeah. John Moore not too happy with uh, Chris Kelly. Paul did a good job in blocking that shot. The tempers are getting higher here. Back at Madison Square Garden, uh, Ryan Callahan and the rest of his teammates are on the Ranger bench. A little bit of uh, verbal exchange between the benches, Brian, during that Time out? Yeah, a few pleasantries. Uh, Sean Thornton passing on a few messages uh, indiscriminately from the Boston bench to the New York bench. I think some of them were directed at Callahan for that hit on Bartkowski. Yeah, it's going to be a trip right off the faceoff here. Dorsett's stick got tangled up with uh, one of the Boston players, and Dorsett's trying to plead his case that maybe the Boston player went down a little too easily. Well, he, he did get it right under the stick blade, and whether it's not intentional or otherwise, it really doesn't matter. When a player goes down like that, you're going to end up taking a penalty. Power play number two for Boston. And nearly able to clear while he was down on the ice with Stepan, and now McDonough will send it all the way down the ice. 14.38 of the second period, the time of the penalty. Uh, Derek Dorsett, so... Rangers who battle back with a power play goal after giving up a shorthanded tally to get back to within one. Smith slides it across. Hamilton back out to the line. It deflects off to Bergeron off the heel of the stick. Now Hamilton will skate it into the Rangers zone. Sends it along the boards behind the left with Girardi. Nice play to get it to Moore, and it's played ahead for Callahan. One against Bergeron, a forward playing back defensively. 
He played it well, and now Erickson starts it back the other way. Smith into the Rangers zone. Backed away by more than he lost his footing. Erickson comes up with a loose puck, sent it back to the right point, but there was nobody there for the Bruins. Krejci around the boards, and now there's nobody at the left point for the Bruins. They are just not all on the same page here at all, and give the New York Rangers a lot of credit for putting Boston off their power play. Hagelin knocks it away, and now Hagelin's going to go after a Gimler, who drops it back for Tori Krug. Now for Lucic. That hit a leg out at center right, pushed ahead. Hagelin trying to start around Krug on the angle, and Hagelin. We'll just throw it back out to center ice. Hardy and McDonough play a little throw and catch. And now it's played ahead, picked up by Derek Stepan. He has a man cut into the net. It's off the skate. And Zuccarello, and back comes Luke. He throws it just out of the box. Terrific penalty kill for the Rangers as a given. Forcing Lundquist to make a save, but the Rangers come away with it. Three on three through the neutral zone. Stepan sends a far side. Joe Drag shot save. Rask gets some contact between Dorsett and Rask. And I think Dorsett going back to the box. And this was outside of the blue paint area, off to the side of the net. And you can maybe read the lips of Derek Dorsett saying, what am I supposed to do? And you know the officials are cracking down on this, Brian. Interference on the goaltender, and he just goes hard to the net. And the Boston Bruins had really backed off. Look at the patience of Dorset and a little toe drag there. Dorset, Dorset going hard to the paint. He gets spun around by his own doing. Yeah. I mean, he can argue all he wants. There is no doubt about that penalty call. Yeah. It was a really good scoring chance too. Had that gone in the back of the net, the Rangers would have been even more upset because it obviously wouldn't have counted. Bruins nope. have called the timeout, and uh, Brian, you make a great point. After after seeing the replay, it, the the contact was initiated a lot closer to the net than I first thought. Yeah. Just seeing how they ended up uh, at the side of the net. He's got to judge himself better than that. Yeah. He did the right thing, trying to go through the neutral zone with speed, but obviously you have to stop before you get to the goaltender. I mean, McDonough made a really nice play. The Rangers have been really good on the rush. Well, if you like these two teams, you're going to love what we've got for you the Friday after Thanksgiving. The Rangers and the Bruins collide as NBC dishes out an afternoon of hockey. Rangers head to Boston to battle the Bruins in the Discover NHL Thanksgiving showdown Friday, November 29th on NBC. Doc Emmerich, Pierre McGuire, Eddie Olchek, and the rest of that great crew will be there in Boston to kick off our NBC portion of our NHL schedule. The Boston Bruins power play has relied an awful lot on their defensemen. Look at the number of goals that they got from their D-man. Krug, Charo with three, Dougie Hamilton with two. So obviously you have to pay attention to those guys back on the blue line. And it's not because they're just shooting from the blue line, especially Krug will really move up on the play. Now Moore gets to this puck and hammers it all the way down the ice. Boyle takes it away. Nice little toe drag shot saved by Rath. Ryan Boyle with some nifty work in the Boston zone. As the Rangers try to answer Boston's shorthanded goal from earlier in this period. Well, that's smart time to do it for Boyle because Riley Smith is a forward. He plays the point on the power play, too. So he was in a defensive position and didn't play it very well. When you get a forward play in defense on the power play, you got to test them whenever you can. Turn over there by Smith, and then Smith is fishing for the puck. Boyle knows it's Smith, makes a little nice move there. Oh, that's sweet. And gets it through to the net, throws it at the net, and Tuka Rask with another save. That's when you really test, when you get those forwards back there. Boyle played his college hockey at uh, Boston College. Riley Smith, of course, uh, three years at Miami of Ohio. So this face off is controlled by Dominic Moore. Chara chips it along. Chased down by Krug, who sends it in deep. Leno Chara's there. And a 10 remaining of the Dorset. Goalie interference penalty as Krug walks the line. Cancel off and gets it back. Corey Krug will have to hustle, he does, to keep it in. Slides it back to David Krejci at the line. Milan Lucic now. That caromed off of one Ranger and right to Boyle. Ends up, oh, Dominic Moore nearly able to push that through Krejci, but Krejci played it well. Leno Chara. 
Lucic tries to go back to number 33. Now Lucic has it again back to the line for Krug. Straight away with a shot that's off the stick of Ginlin out of play. Brian Boyle with a really good shift there, too. I think he got a piece of that shot from Tory Krug in the middle, but this Boston power play just looked disheveled and frustrated. Well, Boyle there, and the Rangers have done a great job penalty killing. There is a discussion about where this faceoff is going. I thought from the live look that it hit uh, Aguila, but they're saying it went off a Ranger and out of play. Yeah, I, I, think that, I think Boyle got a piece of that. Now it's deflected back. Boychuk slides it across Hamilton. Now for Louis Erickson. Roderberg with the skates of Bergeron. And Lucarello plays it off the board. Didn't get it out. The second opportunity, they don't get it out. Hamilton for Bergeron. Great right to him. Final dozen seconds of the Dorset penalty as it bounces out to center right. Hamilton has it there now for the Bruins. Ahead for Louis Erickson. Going to step into him. Probably chips it away from Bergeron. Then sent down the ice. Dorset out the line. But Rath comes out to play with under a minute remaining here in the second period. Boychuk, stretch pass. Across for Kelly, and that's offside. And Smith thought he had gotten it uh, across the line, but he did not. Chris Kelly coming back with a good season this year after kind of a so-so one last year. One of the things the Bruins felt was that they wanted to have that 4-1-2-3-4 punch against any team in the league, and they had that certainly the year that they won the Cup. Kelly had sort of a so-so last season, wasn't all on him. Now that the newcomer Riley Smith has turned out to be a really good two-way player, he and Soderberg on that line with Kelly have given them a little bit of offensive punch and some defense. Yeah, and, and you continue to get what you normally get from Campbell and Paye and Sean Thornton. Exactly. And that includes a goal tonight here in this game. Look out here is really turned over by Strawman, last man back, but he got it down the edge. Now Chara plays it around. Bounces off of Callahan. Nash reaching for it. Up the far boards. Held in by Richards. Back to the net. Rask able to make the save. Nash takes a look around. Hands it off to Callahan. Callahan battling against Hamilton. Now gloved down by Nash. Ten seconds left in the period. Back to the line. Strawman for the net. Save. Rebound chance. Callahan knocked down by Chara. Pucked underneath it. Now it comes free. Callahan has it. And time's going to run out before the Rangers can get another chance on Tuka Rask. Stay with us. The Discover Card second intermission report. Liam, Mike, and JR will talk about the Bruins capitalizing on Ranger miscues. And Kessel, the former Bruin, breaking through for the Leafs. That and much more coming up on our Discover Card. Second intermission here at Madison Square Garden after a scoreless first. Sean Thornton got things started as far as scoring. High A shorthanded, then Broussard here on the power play. 2-1 to one Boston after 40 minutes. The NHL on NBCSN is brought to you by Verizon, the official wireless partner of the NHL. Boston with a 2-1 to one lead. Let's take a look at how we got here with our Gillette storyline as uh, Sean Thornton broke the scoreless deadlock with his third of the year. And then with the Rangers on the power play, Paye with his third of the year shorthanded made it 2 nothing. And later on that same power play, seeing eye shot that Brian Ingblom pointed out for Sart shot through the feet of Boychuk and beating Rask on the left. Henrik Lundqvist there on the right. The Finns against the Swedes, Dave, as you pointed oh, yes. out. The Hatfields and the McCoys, if you <laughs> want to call it that. <laughs> well, remember the uh, the gold medal game in Torino was Henrik Lundqvist and the Swedes defeating Nidamaki and the uh, Finns. I'm looking back at the uh, score sheet from that game earlier today. Nick Lidstrom had the game-winning goal. The other goals were by Zetterberg and Cronwall for Sweden. And, of course, we all know that... Uh, and the Olympics involving NHL players. We'll get to that in a moment here as Stepan trying to step around, throws it right through the goal mouth. Now a shot from a point that was blocked. Erickson wasn't sure where it went. Kreider able to chase it down. Angled away by Chara, chipped up the near side and cleared by Erickson. 
Jumped back by the Rangers, and Bergeron throws it across. Olympics involving the NHL players that have been played on the big ice surface. No medals for Canada or the U.S. And now a hit by Marshawn right in front of the Ranger bench. Big hit right in front of the Ranger bench. I was pretty much completely blocked out by all the players here. Marshawn's the one who did the hitting. It was Zuccarello. He has him. Yeah. yeah, that's a push directly from behind. There is no doubt about that. All you can see is numbers. He's got the stick up and he's cross-checking too. That one's gonna. That one's gonna cost him. I think. You can see the reaction yep. of the Rangers and Zuccarello, of course. I was just going to say that the Bergeron line was out there against Zuccarello and Stepan and Kreider because, as we told you a couple of times, that's been the best line for the New York Rangers. Not a good penalty for, for Marshawn, who certainly has been struggling. Not a good hit to take. Cross-checking penalty, and the Rangers one for two on the power play, but they've given up a shorthanded goal as well. These are the situations though the coaches will look at the power play delivering. Not so much at the end of the game, the overall percentage, but did you score when we needed to? And here's Stefan and he fired it wide and there was some room on the blocker side it looked like. And what a slick move by Stefan to get it there. Now Stefan worked over by Chara. Again, in case you joined us late, Dennis Seidberg played one shift just over a minute. Left the bench. We don't know why. As a shot here is deflected by Rass to the corner. But we were told that he would not return, and now they're saying it was played with a high stick by the Rangers. And when you do that on the power play, and all the way down the ice. Let's go back to Derek Step on here. Watch this little toe drag here. He's going to get the puck. Just pull it back a little. Whoops. Oh, really nice on Campbell. Controls it. He knows he's in the opening. From that point on, it's settle it down and get it to the net as quickly as possible. He knew that he wanted to go short side, he wanted to go top shelf, and I think Tuka Rask fought that one off. Great hand by Stepan. Another one of those brilliant Wisconsin guys, right, Brian? That's right. Yep. We have a class on that. I <laughs> skipped it a lot. <laughs> Again, the wins the draw. Quick shot by Kelly. Deflects to the corner. Zuccarello comes up with it. A little over a minute remaining on this power play. A lead pass for Kreider. He just fired that one wide. Same combination. Zuccarello to Kreider. Now back to the line. Richard tees it up for a shot. That goes just wide on the other side of Tukaraz. John Moore, Broussard, centering pass picked off by Kelly. And he'll send it all the way back into the Rangers zone. Now that chance by Kreider, I'm not sure if Tuka Rask just tipped it a little bit. Dave, you probably got a better look from up there. I thought maybe he just got the blocker. What a pass again from Zuccarello. I couldn't tell whether uh, Rask got a piece of it or not, Brian. Uh, Kreider. And now Chara plays it along. And it's cleared by Bergeron all the way down the ice. We're told from the guys in the truck that uh, Tuka Rask did get a piece of that shot. The Bruins just have to be way sharp on guys away from the puck. That's two breakaways for Friday. Stefan wraps it around on the near side. Campbell out to the line. McDonough unable to hold it in. And the penalty to Marshawn expires. Now a loose puck is picked up by Sean Thornton. McDonough steps into him. IA picks it up, sends it out to the line. Barkowski waits, now he lets it go. New traffic knocked down in front of one post and he sweeps it to the corner. And it's over the glass out of play. Let's go back and take a look at that pass again from Zuccarello to Kreider. Same thing. Kreider going right along the blue line. Barkowski just not looking. That's the second time that he's got burned. Almost exactly the same play. Kreider comes in and there, yeah. Tuka Rask definitely fought that one off with the blocker. Kreider, naturally, very frustrated when he came back to the bench. Big argument here from the Boston Bruins bench. They thought that was shot over the glass yes. intentionally, and that yep. should have been uh, a two-minute penalty on the New York Rangers, but they're not going to win that argument. Yeah, Gregory Campbell went right over to the referee. Ryan Park, Park, Park Mara came over and talking to Claude Julien and said no. Now, Paye, that deflects right in on Lundqvist. Sent back in, and it's 
Held by Lundquist, but he drops it off for Falk. Now it's angled off the boards by Girardi and sent right back into the Ranger zone for Sean Thornton. He puts it right in on Lundquist, who has to deal with Gregory Campbell cutting right through the blue paint. Smart shot by Thornton. He's on an impossible angle. Just get it in the paint and see how the goaltender handles it. Now Krug hands it off. Soderberg lifts it back out to center ice. Now Hamilton hands it off. Chara off the boards. It skips away from Stahl and picked up now by Kelly. Across the line, wrist shot handled by Lundquist. The rebound skated out of there by Anton Strahlman, and he'll buy some time now as the Rangers coming up the ice, trailing 2-1 here early in the third period in their first of three meetings against the Boston Bruins. Juliot tried to chip it to the front. Now Haglin, taken away by Chara on the far side. Kelly chops at it, doesn't come out. Now Hamilton will try this side. Smith couldn't get it by Mark Stahl. After 34-17, 2-1 shot margin in favor of the Rangers, but 2-1 goal margin in favor of the Bruins. Pouliot now plays it over by that Bruin bench just as Kelly was going for a change. Now it's dumped back into the Boston zone. Hamilton angles it off the boards, gets away from McDonough, and this will be icing against the Bruins. Let's go back to that play where the puck ended up out and over the glass. And it was Lundquist. Yeah. Lundquist who flipped it. It was it was in the air and he flippered it into the corner. I didn't get a good look down here from my angle to see if it hit the top of the glass. It definitely was not deflected by any Boston no, it, player it, for sure. Yeah, if it went out cleanly, which I thought it, it looked like from this angle that it did, but it's hard to tell whether it may have just flipped the top of the glass. But. Now McDonough holds it back the other way, missed connecting with Girardi. And that'll be an icing call. Watch live out of market games with NHL Game Center Live. One subscription lets you watch on your computer, smartphone, tablet, and connected devices. Visit NHL.com slash GCL. The Krejci line has not been able to get anything going really in this game. Jerome McGinley hasn't had the puck very much. This line really thrives on playing down low in the corners. And the Rangers have taken the, away from that line for the most part in this game. But again, even with their top line not scoring or their second line, look down and you see Sean Thornton and Dan Paye contributing offensively. And that's why the Bruins won a cup in 2011 and came close again last break. On the rush, down for the shot. Saved by Ralph for the rebound. Well, the Rangers had a chance there momentarily after the initial save. That was knocked right out of the air, I think, by uh, Brad Richards. Now Richards will chase it down on the corner, uses a pick from Girardi. Nash trying to find some space, throws it to the front. Bounces all the way off the near boards, and Richards chases it down. Now Boychuk back up the wall with it. Deflected by Lucic, but McDonough has it. Pulls it off the boards now. Richards. Takes a look toward the net. Knocked down by Callahan, but recovered by Boychuk. And he'll chip it off the glass and back into the Rangers' end. And this will be icing, so the Bruins will not be able to make a change. Yeah, and the, the big line for the New York Rangers had a really good chance. They've been good on the rush tonight. They'll get it outside to Nash. He waits and gets a good shot away. Now this Richards, I think, gets this right out of the air. Yeah, he got it off the shaft of the stick. Had the open net that... Just barely bunted it wide. Great eye had coordination there. Now step on between Zuccarello and Kreider. This has been a good line for Elaine Vigneault. The best. It's amazing when you bring a guy like Nash back, you not only make that line better that Nash goes on, but now you move a guy like Haglin down, and all of a sudden, if you're the Rangers and everybody's going, you could have three lines that could threaten offensively as this line tries to do that off the faceoff. And, and that's what you need if you're really going to go anywhere in the NHL, for sure. You need you need spread out scoring. Now Kreider looking to the front. Puts on the brakes against Boychuk. Bounces off a check from Lucic. Now Zuccarello trying to stay away from Boychuk. Sends it out to the line. Stahl with a shot. Seals it wide. Rebound. Chance was there for Kreider. I'm sure Brask had to make a save. But a good opportunity for the Rangers again. 
Chris Kreider's really been everywhere, too. We've he's had a couple of breakaways and been stymied on both. He's had a penalty shot. Had a good chance there in front of the net. Now Zuccarello has the Madison Square Garden crowd with the Let's Go Ranger chant. Oops, or rather a burger. I got tangled up and went down, and now a shot is deflected wide of Raft. Back by Bergeron. Krug now for Chara. Pouliot runs into him as Girardi at the right point. They keep it in for the Rangers. And it's jammed out to center right, but the Rangers get it back. They lose it, and they recover it one more time. Girardi left side McDonough. Cross the line. In on Rask in the glove, and he will hold it there. It remains 2-1. to one. Oh. Will step away. Bruins lead. Chris Kreider, Derek Stepan, Zuccarello have been dynamic in this game for the Rangers. That was the first Zuccarello to Kreider pass. Ended up in a penalty shot on that one. On the rush, they have been terrific. Turnovers are given the Boston Bruins fits everywhere. Turned defense into offense of a, a point in this game. The Bruins are going to have to continue to contain them there because they're going to press even harder down by one still. Mentioned Tory Krug bursting out of the scene with his uh, scoring in the playoffs last spring. Of course, it was two years ago in the playoffs. The Kreider right out of Boston College scored five goals in the playoffs for the Rangers on their way to the Eastern Conference Final before he had ever scored a regular season goal. As Barkowski plays it intensely off the end board. Now Paye angles it back. Barkowski with a shot. And that got all the way through. Kind of broke his stick. Well, he didn't kind of. He broke it in half. As, that's why he didn't get the, the speed on it that he was looking for. Even still, though, John Moore with great coverage in front of the net on camp, or it could have been a goal easily. Now it's chopped back into the Rangers zone. Under 11 and a half remaining here in the third period. It's a 2-1 to one Bruin lead. Bruin second place in the Atlantic, a point behind okay, Tampa. Okay. Rangers no. third place yes. in the Metropolitan Division. Reflected puck rolls in toward Lundqvist. He comes out to play it to the corner away from Smith. Girardi took a hit now as Stefan. Accepted by Smith who got back nicely to make the defensive play and rolls it to the corner. Now Derek Stefan up from behind his own net. Far side Zuccarello. Rink wide backhand for McDonough. Tries to drop it back in the middle. Knocked away by Carl Soderberg and it's out to the center ice. Smith didn't get too far with it. Zuccarello right back on the attack. Step on with a shot steered aside by Raff. Off on the far side, a shot. Raff save, rebound. Chara gets to it. Angles it up the far side and out to center ice. Rangers have outchanced the Bruins 21 to 6, and Kreider alone has as many scoring chances as the Bruins team. Carl Haglin back down for a chance at the goal post. Squarely off the post on the stick side. Off the stick of Strawman, who gets it back at the right point. He'll lob it in again, and it goes just wide of the same post that he hit. And back the other way, Krejci. Knocked away by McDonough, picked up now by Broussard, who has the lone Ranger goal on the power play after the Rangers had given up a shorthanded tally. And Hagman was going at it in front of the net with uh, Sedano Chara. Really stuck him with the stick after the play went up the, up the ice. It really hurt Chara. Through top of the circle with a chance. And flashing out that stick side was Lundqvist to take it away. Krug dumps it all the way back along the boards behind the Ranger goal. Far side, Callahan. Challenge by Bergeron. And it skips to the line. Good job there by Barkowski to keep that in. Now it comes to... Goes around with a shot that was blocked, trying to get it back in front. It rolls all the way to the board. Boy, Chuck Hammer's one that goes just wide. Good stick there by McDonough in front of the net on Bergeron. Now Strahlman gets to it. You just haven't seen, Brian, much down low sustained play by the Bruins in this no. game. No, nope. the icing call here. No, the Rangers have been terrific in their own end for sure because they really thrive on that play down low in the offensive zone. Let's watch that post. There's Strahlman. Was it deflected? There are a lot of bodies in front. That glances off the outside of the post. Tuka Rask never saw it until the very end. 
And then watch this Haglin and Chara as they go away. Chara with the cross check across the back from Haglin. Turns around and sticks him with the, with the stick. Be careful. You don't want to poke the bear too many times. Bruins win the draw. Cruz shot doesn't get through. Richards plays it ahead. Callahan helps it along and Nash just offside. Will step away with under nine to go in the third. 2-1 Bruins. The Bruins are up in this game 2-1 to one because of this guy. Tuka Rask has been simply outstanding. Couple of breakaways he's had against them. He's had a penalty shot. He's had a lot of action around the net. The Rangers have been really good on the rush. 39 shots, 38 saves for Tuka Rask. He is signed and tied up for seven more seasons beyond this one as Thornton and Boyle, the 222s, pushing and shoving. Boyle's loosening his gloves just in case Thornton wants to oblige. I don't think they're going to do it right here on a one-goal game. Howard tries to play it around and gets it left wing side for Paye. Hanseled off for Gregory Campbell. He chips it deep into the Rangers zone. John Moore comes up with it. Taken away by Paye. High slot. Campbell. Hands it off for Barkowski with a shot. Blockered out of there by Lundquist. Now Barkowski again in deep. Again, the Bruins have balance. Gregory Campbell is back playing on that left D spot. And as Dorset gets it into the Bruins zone. Both teams will look to make changes. Next Ranger shot will be their 40th of the game. Bruins just had their 20th against Lundquist. As Stahl lifts it back the other way. Bouncing puck chased down by Zuccarello. Zuccarello takes it wide. Back hands it to the front. Geared aside by Rath. Here's Kreider with it. Sends it around now for Zuccarello again. Back to the front. Nick Rath's got a piece of that to keep it out. Kreider gets to the loose puck. Skates away from Chara. Boy, what a much more confident looking Chris Kreider we're seeing now. Oh, that's for sure. Picked up by Stefan. Oh, a good stick by Bergeron to prevent Stefan from getting a great scoring chance. Riders put on miles of skating tonight. Now Stefan had a lost control. Backhands it in on Rask and he will hold it there. And the tempers get a little bit short here in front of Tuka Rask. And over in the corner too, Brad Marshawn. I think that's Stefan he's got. So Daniel Chara has played an awful lot because Seidenberg only played one shift in this game. They've been down to 5D. So they go to the big fella an awful lot. Zuccarello, who's been one of the top players, starts poking around at Chara. You like that when the when the top players in the game get in each other's face. Neither side giving an inch. There's the shot, and there's Marshawn with the stick up over the head. That was on the far side. You can't see it now. And then all the upset players in, in front of the goaltender. Well, Brad Watson came in, uh, the referee, and said that's enough. Or there's going to be penalties here. Got get everybody a, separated? Yeah, they'll give him a few pushes and shoves. This is a two-to-one hockey game. I like that. They give him a little bit of leeway. Now, Broussard against Campbell. It rolls in toward Rask. Ruins Boychuk around for Kelly. Doesn't get it by Girardi. Sends it back in deep. Broussard is there. Now, Puliak gets in there as well. Aglin went to the front of the net, but the Bruins come up. And flip it back into the Rangers zone. Ryan McDonough. Hands it off for Carl Haglin. Spins away from the pressure. Taken away by Smith. He'll send it back into the Rangers zone. Girardi up the boards all the way to center ice. Hamilton will drive it back into the Rangers zone. All three goals coming in the second period after a scoreless first. Sean Thornton's third from Marshawn and Kelly. Here's a steal by Tracy Cunningham. What a stop by Lindquist. One of his best. Dan Girardi tried to get a little bit too cute and make a nice little soft pass inside his own zone against Krejci. Krejci stole it from him and had some energy and was able to get around the backside of him. That's the beginning of the forecheck by Krejci and then right there, that's the, the little play I was talking about that Girardi tried to make. Krejci stole the puck again, one man show there for Krejci and a terrific save by Lundqvist who was patient and didn't leave that short side too early. Face-off control by the Rangers. Nash pushes it ahead for Callahan. So Thornton is third. Pye is third. The Bruin goal scores. 
And Broussard is fourth, has the Ranger goal. 41 saves for Tuka Rask. 19 so far for Henrik Lundqvist. Lucic for Krejci. He'll send it along the boards. Lundqvist wanted to get the goal stick on it. Couldn't get there quickly enough. Now Krejci to Hamilton at the line. Maybe Krejci with it again. Turns and dumps it along the board. Strawman steps in there as we're under six minutes remaining now here in the third period. One goal game. Hamilton had to come back center ice and dumps it along the boards back behind Lundqvist. it off. The ball plays it ahead into the Boston zone. It's cleared back out. Campbell tips it ahead. Pae with some good speed coming over as Moore. Goes that up. And Lundqvist steers it to the board. There Stefan took a hit. Good read and good speed there by Moore. Really good recovery on Pae. Back. Three on three into the Bruins zone. Stefan for the front of the net. Just put it to an area hoping Kreider could get there and he nearly did. Now Stefan again. Knocked away by Campbell. Falk throws it in deep. Zuccarello trying to go back to the line to John Moore and it's chipped back inside the Rangers zone with under five minutes remaining now here in regulation time. The Bruins with a two to one lead. Now Broussard broken up in the neutral zone. Picked up by Marza. Cut in. And just over top of the net, what a chance there. Achara. Lundquist. Cuts it off. Girardi now for Broussard. And Pouliot starts it back. Across the line. Long first shot into the glove of Rask, and he will hold it there. Marjan came close, but it remains 2-1 Boston. A very by Lemieux. Fans are going to be screaming at you. Not going to be so friendly on the ice. We hate them. They hate us. Come time when we step on the ice, we we're competitors. Oh, that's going to cross behind the player being broken up right now. Well, the two teams have met at the 2011 Winter Classic at Heinz Field. Another chapter to the rivalry tomorrow night here on NBC. It's an always great, of course, Ovechkin and Crosby, the headliners, Brian. But there's a lot of other subplots when those two teams get together. <laughs> yeah, it runs pretty deep when you got world-class players. They want to outdo each other, too. That's where it starts. Jara lifts it back the other way. A race for the puck. Marshawn trying to get there. And it's Ryan McDonough. Sends it back, Kreider. And that'll be icing. And it used to be, up until this year, that if that was an attainable pass, they wouldn't call that icing. But now the player has to touch it. The last shift for Derek Rizard, a little bit of over-exuberance trying to make something happen. You can't stick handle through the middle of the neutral zone coming out of your end when you're the last guy. He turns it over, and then he's the one that's caught. Marshan got a really good scoring chance. I think that Lundquist maybe got a piece of that with his arm and deflected it up and over. Bad turnover by Broussard. Bruins control the draw. Barkowski angles it off the end board. Lundquist was ready for it. Steer to the side. It bounces back in front of the Ranger goal, but Rangers there, Kreider far side, off the stick of Zuccarello into the ruined zone. 3.45 remaining in the third. Centering pass intended for Kreider, Boychuk intercepted, and the Bruins able to clear. Now Boychuk was off the glove of Kreider, and now back into the Rangers zone. Zuccarello has it there. Stahl pushes it ahead. Oderberg took him down. Both referees look at it. No call. Callahan. Now it's stick to the corner by Boychuk. Pushes Callahan out of the way. Once Oderberg had Puck knocked off his stick. Comes up top of the circle for a shot here. Knocked down before it got through the rest. Now John Moore has it again. Sends it to the corner. Callahan pushes it along for Richards. Now Nash will chase it down. Krejci staying on him, out to the line, Strawman. Richards right back down to Nash. Nash top of the circle. Now he lets it go, he's looking for a deflection. Strawman hammers one. Knocked down, 
Picked up by Moore. Great pressure here by the Rangers' top line with 2.35 remaining in the third, and the Bruins leading by one. It's sent all the way down the ice. And will it go far enough for icing? It just does. Rangers doing a good job of getting pucks through to the net. I mean, it's tough. There are layers and layers of defense. 30 shots in each of the last three games, including tonight for the New York Rangers. They won 1-0 against Montreal, then lost 1-0 against the Los Angeles Kings. Rick Nash back in the lineup tonight. That one just barely went wide. Jerome McGinley was trying to waste a little time over here getting a new stick, but Brad Watson's seen that trick before, yeah. and he told him, yeah, your stick looks fine, get back in there. Nash has seen 15 and a half minutes of ice time, just about what he told us this morning. He would probably see face off one cleanly out to Girardi, shot, did not get very far, and it's again, the, he didn't get the red line, it's going to be icing. That was a little mental slip up yeah. there by Jerome McGinley. I mean, he knew he didn't have much room. He just didn't mean to put that much on it. He's been around the block before. He's out there in that situation, and he knows his job is to get it out of the zone safely. But he easily could have banked it off the wall and used half the energy on it, and he didn't. So now they have to bail out Jerome McGinley and get this puck out this time. Step on a Krejci on this faceoff. 2.20 remaining in regulation. Krejci wins it. Cruz, Boychuk, angles it off the boards and down the ice. And will this go far enough for icing? He waved it off. That was Jerome McGinley hunting it down and made the uh, linesman think about it. Good job by McGinley there. McGinley hands it off. Wrapper on the thought about there by Marsh. I'm going to be taken away by Derek Stepan. And now the Rangers get it out to center ice. Chris Kreider, a little self-chip. Chases it down and then lost an edge on a skate. And Krejci able to come out with it. Puck is picked up by Louis Erickson. Oh, good back check by Stepan. Broke it up. Kreider just chipped it near side, waiting for McDonough skating up on the play. And now here's Louis Erickson back the other way with Marshawn. And the pass across actually went all the way in on Lundqvist. And we'll keep an eye on Lundqvist now. And a leap pass for Nash, and he handles it cleanly. He's got a breakaway, but it bounced too hard off his stick. And now it's lobbed back into the Rangers zone with a minute 23 remaining here in the third period. Erickson had a backhand pass. He saw a couple of Bruins coming into the zone. And now more for Richards. Richards pushes it ahead, but too far. Campbell for Paye. An invaluable time coming off the clock here as the Rangers want to get the extra attack run, and now they will. Lunch was to the bench. Richards backhands it. It goes over the outstretched glove of Tuka Rask. Now Boychuk will hammer it up the glass. Held in by Nash. Nash fires it in wide at Six skaters on for the Rangers. Empty net. Down to our right. Centering pass. Broussard couldn't get a stick on it. And now it's jammed out past all the Rangers. And bouncing toward the open net. It won't get there. And Stahl will pick it up. 38 seconds remaining here in regulation time. Callahan pushes it deep. Bounces off of Boychuk. Angles it off the board. John Moore with a shot. And Rath with a save through traffic. How did he see that? Now behind the Bruin net, Chara plays it up the far side. It bounces off of Bobby. It's picked up by Chris Kelly, and it, it hit the netting. I think it was out of play. That's what one of the linesmen, Murchison, is uh, indicating. That's on the near side for me, so I'm not yeah. sure exactly what that deflected off. All of a sudden, it, the puck just sort of stopped up, and it allowed the Boston Bruins to come out of their zone under control. The Bruins started screaming right away, like, why the whistle there? Empty net. They're safely out of their zone. And with 17 seconds, that probably would have been pretty much the game one way or the other. Looks like Claude Julian saying the, the faceoff got to be a center ice. They're discussing whether it was a mistake whether well, a mistaken call here that the whistle was blown. I think they're also checking the clock, too. The puck comes around the glass. Does it hit a stanchion? It'll be on the left side of your screen. Too hard to tell from yeah. that angle. But there was an argument, I think, as to whether or not it was actually out of play. One of the linesmen blew it down. I think a mistaken call, and yeah, the faceoff is going to come to... Uh, 
the neutral ice area. I think it did just hit a stanchion, which means the puck is in play. The play Ooh. should have gone on, and the Bruins should have been able to go on their rush. A soft center ice. Good play here by Nash to get it into the Bruins zone. 13 seconds remaining. Chara has it. Bruins probably need just one more clear unless they ice it, but it hit off the skate of Strawman, so it will not be icing around the board. Picked up by Aginla, knocked away by the glove of McDonough, who makes another save, but it doesn't matter. The Boston Bruins have come into Madison Square Garden and behind the 43-save performance of Tuka Rask, They've defeated Lundquist and the Rangers by a final score of 2-1. to one. Well, in just a moment, Brian Engbaum will have an interview with one of the stars of tonight's game. Go for Brian and the rest of our crew. I'm Dave Strader. Thanks for joining us here, but stay with us as we check in with Lee McHugh for NHL Overtime presented by Bud Light. Dave, thanks so much. We'll get you caught up on all the latest as we catch you down to NHL rivals. Here's what's ahead. St. Paul is wild about Josh Harding, but when Minnesota met up with Montreal, the night belonged to a birthday boy from Connecticut. Plus, after some early season ugliness, Philly is flying high while Ottawa was overmatched. We'll break it all down. NHL Overtime presented by Bud Light is next.